Hello, welcome to Dairy Line Rewind, a look at what happened this week in the dairy industry. I'm Bill Baker, and we start off on Capitol Hill, where a new Senate bill calls for comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, Thursday, seven U.S. senators introduced the Comprehensive Immigration Reform Act of 2011, which includes the uh, Dairy H-2A visa eligibility provision. The reform package also includes the um, Agriculture Jobs Proposal, and uh, the DREAM Act, uh, long sought after by agricultural groups. Uh, Both a uh, mandatory employment verification system and a registration program are also part of uh, the act as well. Uh, The uh, new Senate uh, bill addresses some of the dairy's concerns with the Legal Workforce Act, and that has been introduced in the House of Representatives, uh, did that last week. Dairy Profit Weekly's Dave Natsky joins us now to uh, share some insights. Uh, Dave? Bill, the Legal Workforce Act requires businesses to electronically verify the immigration status of all new employees within two years. And while the bill offers a one-year extension to agriculture, including dairy farmers, making use of E-Verify mandatory within three years, agricultural leaders say any program to identify and eliminate illegal workers must also be accompanied by programs to ensure a legal, stable immigrant workforce to produce and harvest the nation's food supply. Greg Wickham, chair of the National Council of Farmer Cooperatives and chief executive officer of Dairy League Cooperative, said dairy farmers are already in a workforce crisis because very few Americans will do the intense labor required on dairy and other farms. Even with current economic conditions and high unemployment in the United States, Wickham's Dairy Co-op members tell him they have been unsuccessful in hiring and retaining domestic workers, despite offering higher pay and more incentives. Wickham said the Department of Labor's current H-2A guest worker program is designed for seasonal workers and doesn't meet the year-round long-term needs of dairy and livestock industries. He warned the lack of an adequate workforce could be the final nail in the coffin for dairy farmers suffering through the tough economic situation the past 24 to 30 months. Thanks, Dave. The Comprehensive Immigration Reform Act of 2011, that's uh, Senate Bill 1258, and uh, the lead sponsor is Senator Robert Menendez, the Democrat from New Jersey, uh, who introduced the bill, along with Senators Harry Reid from Utah, Patrick Leahy from Vermont, uh, Richard Dermott from Illinois, Uh, Charles Schumer from New York, Kristen Gillibrand from New York, and uh, John Kerry from Massachusetts. A couple of reports out this week. Wednesday's cold storage showed cheese stocks holding steady. As we take a look at the May American cheese inventory, that was at 620.5 million pounds. That was unchanged from April, but 1% above a year ago. Uh, Total cheese stocks amounted to um, over a billion again and was up 10 million pounds or 1% from April and 22 million pounds or 2% above a year ago. May butter stocks totaled 170.4 million pounds. That's 20% uh, up from April, 20% below a year ago though. And uh, May milk production in the top 23 states totaled 16 billion pounds, up 1.5% from May of last year. Output in the 50 states amounted to 17.3 billion. That's up 1.3%. Downs O'Neill dairy economist Bill Brooks joins us now. Is that uh, what you expected with the milk production report, Bill? A little stronger than what I was looking for, but I don't know that it was outside of anybody's you know range that they maybe were looking for. Really, probably uh, kind of a non-event it was going the the direction we kind of thought that it would with uh, the gains over the previous year, at least in the milk per cow, continuing to uh, slow down, and and we were looking at some very strong gains in milk per cow last year. So it's it's hard to maintain that level of growth, and and then whenever you combine that with the wet and cool weather negatively impacting uh, forage growth and and crop growth. So even though cool weather is a good thing for the, you know cow comfort and uh, help them with producing milk for folks who rely on new forages, either harvest or, or letting the cows uh, go out and graze, the cool weather wasn't a, a positive for us. You know, holding back that milk per cow a little bit more than maybe what we would have thought uh, as we were going into this year. And then on the uh, cow side of things, a nice uh, gain in, in cow numbers again. For the U.S., at least anyway, up to 9.2 million head, only 8,000 head underneath our five-year average. So we're continuing to add cows to try to offset. It looks like that slower growth in milk per cow to you know, maximize uh, milk production for each farm. Thanks, Bill. That's Downs O'Neill Dairy Economist Bill Brooks here on Dairy Line Rewind. We thank you for uh, tuning in and for watching us on DairyLine.com.
And that's Dairy Line Rewind for this week.